Love Tea, and we are in Multiboro out on Lake Winnipesaukee. And I'm here with Stevens Landscaping's project manager, Hunter Secord. Thanks, Hunter, for being here. He has put this whole project together and overseen everything, and we're here to kind of see the final results, right? Yeah. Yeah. Super exciting. It's also going to be featured on this year's Parade of Homes, a virtual Parade of Homes this year. And this happens to be a client's house that we sold a couple years back. Um, so we're super excited to see the transformation. Yeah, it's been a, a great process. We started um, to about two years ago uh, with the design process. Went through that, multiple changes, working with uh, the builder. He used Bella Woods. Dan Doobie was awesome. Um, Finally got a design that worked for the style of the house, uh, gave him all the areas that he wanted to kind of incorporate in the landscape and broke ground in the middle of June and just wrapped up a few days ago. So it's been a long process, but um, it really turned out really, really nice. And what's interesting about this property is you have a main house right next door to the guest house where usually maybe the guest house is set back on a different lot. So you kind of had to incorporate two buildings almost of you know similar size and lot coverage on yep. this one lot. Yeah, and his one of his biggest things, the customer really wanted like a main courtyard area for people to kind of join in the middle. People are staying at both houses. Um, so we designed in like a propane fire boulder area for everyone to kind of meet at night. Um, a main set of steps that brings you down to the outdoor kitchen area, the main entertainment patio. And then going down towards the lake, you have another um, wood burning fire pit uh, the customer was really fun and let us kind of use our creativity, so that was really fun to kind of have some freedom there. Um, but it's it's exciting to allow him to be able to use this space now. So. And you also had to work with different elements on, you have two docking systems here. Yep. You have a walk-in beach, so how did you bring everything together? I mean, you really had to think outside the box, as you had mentioned. Yeah, uh, stepping stone pathways kind of bring you to every area on the property. Everything kind of works together, but the main focus is right kind of where we're standing in the center, which is the outdoor kitchen. Um, and the cool thing about this was every every rock that you see here was pretty much from on site. So not much was brought in in terms of retaining wall material, but the steps were um, brought in and installed by our site work team. Um, and all of the patios were done by our installation teams. And then from there, we turn it over to our softscape team and our irrigation and lighting team to kind of wrap up the whole property and bring everything together. So very exciting, very fun. Um, so and yeah. you also had to bring in too, you I mean, not only do you have an outdoor kitchen, but you have this like pavilion thing over it that we haven't seen really before yet. Yeah, so we worked alongside of Dan's team, um, the builder with that, uh, his team took care of that and it really brought everything together. I think, you know, people that see the property from the lake people that uh, come from the driveway side, it draws their eye right away. I think that was kind of the goal for this. So um, it definitely is the highlight of the outdoor space and we're excited to be a part of putting our landscape around that main main piece, so. And what would you say while you were, you know, either from the start to the finish, what was like the biggest obstacle you had to go, go about with this property? Uh, retaining was big, stabilization was big, obviously we want to do our part in protecting uh, our lake as much as we can, so a lot of retaining, a lot of plant native plant material for stabilization and beauty. Um, the other big challenge was the kind of the end last few weeks, there was honestly 40 people here a day, uh, so it's fun to kind of gather with everyone, get a plan together at the beginning of the day, work together as one big team. There was plumbers, electricians, painters contractors, landscapers, there was, I mean, you name it, everyone was here. So to kind of come together, everyone had the end goal of finishing this for the Parade of Homes and for the customer to enjoy. So it was really fun to kind of be a big team um, from all different areas and really work together to make it make it work, so. And I see a lot of materials that you've used at other locations, like the beautiful bluestone in piece, and you also have wrought iron details uh, yeah. that you have used with a local company. Uh, Winnipesaukee Forge, so we, um, brought him in to look at landscape railings. In doing that, we kind of said, maybe we should incorporate this into the house. Uh, so he ended up doing the deck railings as well, matched the color of the house trim, which I think really just pulls everything together. They don't stick out too much, that, but they provide a, a really great level of beauty. So it's, it's a nice addition to the end of the project. And before we go, what would you say is your favorite detail or feature in the landscape? Oof. <laughs> if you had to pick one. I... I really, I really like the steps. They kind of bring you to, to every area of the property. 
they fit nicely. They kind of cascade down to the lakeside and I think it was just a nice focal piece to, to incorporate into the project. So. I agree. They're like waterfalling, yeah. cascading down. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Hunter. Yeah, I thank you. I appreciate it. And hopefully everyone, when you go by on Moulton Bay, you want to take a peek as you're going around by boat.